Hello, my name is Charles Christ, and today I will be discussing three actions Tencent Holdings can take to improve shareholder value. All currencies in the presentation will be in U.S. dollars. Founded in 1998 and based in China, Tencent Holdings is one of the largest and most diversified internet companies in the world. The company's primary activities provide mass media, entertainment, and communication services to its customers. Tencent's flagship product is QQ Messenger and the QQ Web Portal. Looking at Tencent's CFROI and asset growth allows us to conclude that the company has been consistently generating shareholder value. However, analyzing return metrics show a downward trend in both ROA and ROE. With regards to cash flow, it is evident that Tencent has a history of heavy investment. Despite high operating cash flow, the company's net cash receipt has been close to zero or negative in recent years. The current market capitalization is $142 billion, making Tencent the largest internet company in China. Its current annual revenue comprised of the value-added services, advertising, and e-commerce segments is $12 billion. The company has a price-earnings ratio of 40, relatively in line with its internet company peers. 92% of Tencent's revenue is generated in China, although international expansion has recently become more important. Given the current condition of Tencent Holdings and the environment in which it operates, I propose three actions to improve shareholder value. Recommendation 1 involves one of Tencent's subsidiaries, Riot Games. Riot was purchased by Tencent in 2011 for $400 million. Riot operates a video game, League of Legends, which today is the most popular video game in the world. As of January 2014, League of Legends had 67 million monthly active users. The video game company's revenue trajectory reveals astonishing growth rates. Riot is expected to generate revenues in excess of $1 billion in 2014, almost a 100% increase on 2013's revenue of $600 million. Even so, Riot Games still comprises only a small portion of the technological elephant that is Tencent Holdings. For recommendation one, I propose that Tencent IPOs and spins off Riot Games. I will now present some qualitative arguments for how this will increase total shareholder value. As a separate reporting entity, Riot Games will now have a tracking stock. Riot will then have an independent financial profile, an increased level of investor awareness, a reduction of information asymmetry with investors, and higher incentives options for employees. Additionally, given Tencent's numerous alternative growth options and Riot's location in the United States, I hypothesize that Tencent is inadequately funding Riot's growth opportunities. Spinning off Riot will allow the company to pursue large acquisitions and investments and eliminate agency issues with the government of China an entity that has an enormous influence on Tencent. Finally, Tencent and Riot will be able to pursue untapped growth potential with raised capital for Riot and freed resources for Tencent. Currently, Riot has little synergies and is barely integrated with Tencent. Tencent has previously divested gaming companies in the past, and with the open growth opportunities and reporting of Riot's ludicrous financial metrics, Riot will receive a large valuation. The mobile messaging industry is geographically fragmented. Tencent's mobile messaging application WeChat is the most popular messenger in China. For recommendation 2, I propose that Tencent heavily invests in WeChat's foreign expansion. WeChat boasts almost 500 million active users and provides more applications than its competitors. The application has already demonstrated a successful market penetration in India. International expansion will allow Tencent to expand and test its other services internationally. Tencent will acquire customers in other markets, allowing Tencent to overtake the mobile messaging industry. Finally, the action will increase Tencent's access to foreign labor markets, increasing the company's talent pool. Going forward, I predict geographical consolidation in the mobile messaging industry. In this environment, the companies that expand internationally first will overtake the market. Tencent may use freed managerial and financial resources from Riot's divestment to pursue this option. Finally, customers will have low switching costs between platforms and Tencent will have a second mover advantage in foreign markets. The largest cloud computing companies in the world have recently entered an industry that Tencent has yet to pursue, genomics. In 2009, Microsoft purchased assets of Rosetta Biosoftware and the market valued the synergies between the company as evidenced by a subsequent 9% increase in share price. IBM announced its entry into genomics in 2014 and the share price saw a 5% increase over the next week. Software companies dominate data processing within the genomics industry. Each genome requires 100 gigabytes of storage with significant data collection and processing requirements. As the largest Chinese software company, Tencent has the resources and technological ability to lead the Chinese genomics industry. Doing so will expand Tencent's product offering to include disease prediction and prevention while opening growth opportunities in the healthcare sector.
To conclude, if Tencent spins off Riot Games, invests in WeChat's foreign expansion, and enters the genomics industry, shareholder value should be materially increased. Thanks.